Kaylee, the uh, funniest guy in the Wallabies would hands down be Kurtley Beale. He's uh, hilarious. I can't, uh, just looking at him, he has expressions that uh, makes everyone laugh and just his mannerisms, uh, yeah. He's a funny bloke, I'll leave it at that. Hey Alexander, uh, yeah, describing the playing styles, I guess it changes each week depending on your, your game plan, but uh, I guess prehistorically, uh, if, you, if you look at the South Africans uh, to start, they have a big pack um, and they got a lot of speed sort of out wide and usually pick bigger centres. Uh, they've got a, a good kicking game and uh, they look for those up and unders and to sort of pressure the opposition team in their half. Uh, that's normally their go-to with their forwards coming around the corner. Uh, they, they breathe them quite big over there so it tends to work quite well. Uh, the Kiwis, um, they've got a good mix of pretty much everything. Uh, they are probably ahead of the game sort of in terms of their handling skills. Um, so one thing I guess I've noticed this year is uh, their high ball um, consistency is uh, right up there as well as their offloading ability uh, in sort of before tackles and also after tackles, their pop balls. Uh, but in terms of them, yeah, they play a very sort of mixed style. Uh, they're good in the rucks uh, and they play very physical as well. And uh, talking about physicality, the Argentinians probably, that's their, their key to their game. They have a game plan and they stick to that uh, pretty, pretty gruesomely. Uh, they're big blokes and uh, they go forward quite well. They do also play quite a tactical kicking game, but as well as uh, they have quite, they've got a bit of flair about them, that Argentinian flair, I guess. Uh, they're pretty, pretty passionate about the game and sort of once they do get on, a, I guess, on the move, uh, they, have, they do quite, some quite nice drops sort of on the end of the chain and in their sort of midfield, uh, they're bigger guys and they do look for those offloads, those little pop balls. So that's pretty much summing it up for you. Hey Max, uh, best food on tour? Uh, I guess my favourite sort of food is sushi at the moment. Uh, so I'd say in Cape Town, uh, just sort of near the fish markets down there, um, right on the water, there's two great places that uh, have unbelievably fresh uh, salmon and uh, also prawns. And the, the things they can do with their sushi is uh, pretty amazing. So if you get the chance, go check it out. I think it's called Willoughby's. Hey, Virginia. Uh, I probably have two, two games which uh, stand out for me. Um, oh, I guess three, including sort of my debut, but I think number one probably in my mind would be uh, the All Blacks in Hong Kong. Uh, just sort of more in terms of we hadn't beaten the All Blacks in sort of 10 years, and for me personally, it was a, it was a good game for myself as well. I, I scored the winning try and also converted it to, to win the game. So it was, it was a massive moment for, I guess, myself personally, and sort of I grew sort of into, I guess, a more confident uh, rugby player on the test arena after that game. But uh, as well, World Cup's are always pretty massive, and uh, our quarter final against South Africa, uh, so they they had been sort of pounding us all game, and we had one opportunity, and uh, I got a penalty penalty goal from about 40 yard, and I ended up slotting, and we won the game off that kick. So that also was a, a pretty big one for me. Wally the mascot, how are you, buddy? It's been uh, quite a while. How are you enjoying uh, hanging out with Hooper? But, uh, all right, uh, most excited about, I guess, well, a test on the Gold Coast. Uh, I'm obviously you know, born and bred here. Uh, the Gold Coast is my home. I still have my house down at Paradise Point. So for me, it's sort of all about bringing rugby to the Gold Coast. Obviously, when I was growing up, it was quite league orientated, but now it's sort of, uh, I guess, rugby is growing with TSS doing so well and the GPS schools competition, and also uh, the breakers doing so well. So. For me, it's so exciting to see a test match here and uh, back in the day, I wouldn't have thought it would have been possible. So, as well as the Sevens, the uh, Sevens competition is taking part on the Gold Coast now as well. So, it's good times for the Gold Coast and good times for rugby. It's becoming sort of a, a haven for it, I guess.